capture the objectives. Hello guys, it's Project Mac here again with another commentary. Um, this gameplay is from a um, game we played last night against B-Sport. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to I-Series, it's obviously Hardpoint on Express, which is probably my favourite map for Hardpoint at the moment. Um, in this video I'm going to be mainly talking about my opinions of what the DeSerto rules are at the moment and my predictions for I-Series and I'll maybe throw in a couple of tips about um, playing Hardpoint as well. Um, it'll just depend how time goes on it. Right, so firstly on to the rules. Um, I personally don't think that um, we're a million miles away from where we need to be with the rules at the moment. Um, I mean, obviously, my views on my last opinion when I talked to, sorry, my last video when I talked about score streaks was that I thought we should give them a chance. Obviously, the community's decided that that's not what they want. So, obviously, I'm going to back the community. Um, so, score streaks have been banned. Um, I still thought we should have gave them a at least an opportunity like Frag Cup did, but you know, that's just my opinion. Um, I can obviously understand why people didn't want them, so I'm not really going to mention them again. Um, so I'm just going to break down the rules into three categories, which is game modes, maps, and what we've banned. So first of all, the game modes, um, we have at the moment Hardpoint, SD, Search and Destroy. Uh, sorry, Hardpoint, Search and Destroy, and Capture the Flag. Um, personally, I think Hardpoint's by far the best game mode that we've got so far. I think it's new, it's exciting, it's something that we've not quite had before. Um, and for that reason, you know, it's my favourite game mode. Um, S&D I've not really played very much because we don't tend to do it unless we've got a LAN event coming up and obviously we're not going to I-Series so we're just really playing it now and again. It seems alright, it just seems a lot of the time it's just 4 m versus 4 m The maps seem not too bad for that, um, but again, most people just seem to be playing Hardpoint whenever they're online. Capture the flag just seems like something that we've just kind of came to accept is going to always be in our rules. I don't think really anybody's enjoying Capture the Flag on this game, um, but I think that could be down to a couple of the bans and the map's not been particularly great for it. I'm not really enjoying Capture the Flag at all at the moment, um, and I'm just really not wanting to play it. Two other modes we've not considered um, is Domination, which I think is one of the most boring game modes on this game that I've came across. I think it's just mind-numbing, to be honest. Um, so I wouldn't like that in at all, and I don't think really any of the maps lend ourselves to Domination. Demolition, on the other hand, I have played quite a bit of. I really enjoy it. I don't know why we're not giving it a better shot. I think post I series that we might. Um, it will just depend how it goes. Uh, I'd like to see it in. I think a lot of the maps and more and could be used for it, um, and it might turn out we replace CTF with that. We'll just need to see what happens. Um, now the maps. I'm only going to mention the ones that I don't think work. Um, for Capture the Flag, I've got a bit of a problem with Overflow, I just think that it's ridiculously one-sided and because of that it means that one side you just heavily camp on and it's the one we spawn right at the top of the road um, and you just find people camp on it, try to play to either draw it or lose 1-0 so they can try and win the next side. It's not how a CTF should be played, it's really boring, the map's too big, I don't enjoy it. I know people might not agree with me but I just don't enjoy it. Um, I know we use cargo S and D um, for S and D only. I wouldn't mind giving it a shot on CTF and maybe Hardpoint. I know people have played and said they didn't like it, but I don't see what harm it would do. Um, cargo seems to be an alright map. Um, now the other map I'm going to mention is Carrier, which is one we don't use at all, but that I really like playing. Um, I know when we spoke to Hasro about Carrier. It, at Gamescom he kind of mentioned that it was a map specifically designed for us um, because it's symmetrical apparently and um, I don't know but I think we could at least give it a shot maybe something like Capture the Flag for example I think it might be alright on that um, but that's really all I've got to say about the maps the rest of the maps are really alright for the moment and the other thing I wanted to talk about was the bans now a lot of, there's a lot of controversy about this and people agree and disagree and I know that some of the rules we have at the moment are only um, temporary rules for I series but the main talking point seems to be the whole tack mask versus stuns. Uh, in my opinion, I think you can't have one without the other. I think we either need to get rid of stuns and tack mask, which I don't think is the option we should go down, or we need to bring back tack mask and keep stuns, which I think is a good one. I think this is one of the reasons why no one's enjoying CTF at the moment, is because because it's so AR dominated at, at the moment, people seem to be it's it's difficult to get to someone's flag and then you finally get there. 
and you get four down, it's easy. The maps are so wide open that you can just stun them, and that, there's no flags being capped at all. So I think Tacmas might bring it in, and people like objective players can use it. And you know, even even if we limit it to say to a team, for example, I think there's something that we need to look at bringing back in, and I think hopefully it will do. Uh, obviously, post I see these things are going to change again. That's all I really got to say about the rules. I'll just move quickly on the I series. Um, now my team's obviously not attending I series. That's just because Toby's got a work thing on this weekend, and Jordan can't get out of. He can't get any time off work, so that's why we're not attending. So all I'm going to do is just run through top five teams and where, where I think they'll do and what I think they they might potentially do badly. Uh, I mentioned Farico first of all. That's Luke, Amaze, Bizzle and uh, Fizz. I think their best potential finish could be a winner. Um, and I think that the worst they, they, they would hope for is a top five. I think top five, with the amount of teams that's going, isn't great. They should be really aiming to get top two or to even win it. The CSC I think have put a lot of time into the game, I think what they're looking for best placement wise is top 3, um, worse if things all fall apart they could end up with something like top 8, but I really think that they might surprise a couple of people and get it. Um, Visions, uh, Tommy's team, now this is a team that's, because of the Tommy factor it's always going to be a case of how much he fancies playing and how much he wants it, um, we played them last night and they, they were probably the best team we've played yet. Best, obviously, they could win it, and worst, I think they could get top five. A lot of it could be down to Tommy and how well Zanity steps up to being, you know, a proper team at this point. Uh, TCM, uh, Mad Cat, Josh, Rich, and Flux, obviously, they can't really be aiming for anything else but to win the event. The worst I think they could do is probably get top three. Um, and the last team I'm going to mention is Prophecy, which is Swanee, Shane, Gunshane, and Jake. They really can't be aiming for anything else but winning the event. Um, and the worst PK scenario, they could get top two. Um, that's mainly because they've never finished outside at the high series. They, they they really should be going at this event to try and win it. As far as people I've spoke to, they seem to say that Prof have been playing well, so I don't see why they, they, they wouldn't be going in um, expecting it. So my quick predictions would be a TCM win with Prof coming second and Farico coming third. Now I know I mentioned that Farico were my dark horses and they still are, but I think that Prof, just with the players I've got and the time they've put in before it, they should really be expecting to win. I think they will. I think TCM might push them close, and a lot of it will be down to Dylan and how well he plays. And obviously, Farrow could, could surprise people and end up winning it. So that's my predictions for the event. Um, I'll be putting another video over the course of the weekend, just maybe talking about day one. So stay tuned for that. And please, everyone, as always, um, like, subscribe, and favorite the video. Cheers.